My name is Sharif. I live in Akka, on the Mediterranean coast in the Holy Land. It is an ancient city where crusaders built walls and tunnels, and where a dungeon prison for the worst and most dangerous criminals of the Ottoman Empire was built. This has been my home as long as I can remember. I am one of the many poor people who live here. There are hundreds of us. Our clothes are tattered. Many of us are blind or on crutches, and some so feeble that we can barely walk. It has become our custom, most days, to gather in this part of the city to meet Abbas Effendi. He is a man of middle stature, with long hair that rests on his shoulders and kind blue eyes that seem to look right into you. Every day he greets us with kindness and courtesy, and then places a few coins in the palm of our hands. Sometimes he will offer a brief caress on our head or shoulders. Occasionally, he will ask a few questions about the well-being of our family. Always, he treats us with respect, even people who insult him because he is of a different faith. At the beginning of the winter, he meets us at one of the clothing stores of Akka to purchase warm garments for us. Many of us would not survive the cold season if it were not for these gifts. But he does not only help the street beggars. I have heard many times that for those whose daily labor is not enough to meet their family's needs but are too proud to join the street queue, he sends bread secretly. All the people of Akka know of him and love him, the rich, the poor, the young, and the old. He does not care if you are Muslim, Christian, or Jew. If you need help, he will provide it. If a poor patient needs a physician, he brings or sends one. If the roof is leaking, he sends a workman to fix it. He is especially caring for widows and orphans. Looking at his generosity, it would be natural to assume that this man who gives so freely must be rich. Yet the truth is far otherwise. I have heard that once, his family was one of the wealthiest in all of Persia. 
But then his father announced he was the prophet of a new religion, intended to bring unity to the world. The political and religious leaders of Persia took all their property and wealth and forced them to leave the country. Abbas Effendi and his family became exiles in different places until they ended up here in Akka, in the prison fortress. At the time, the conditions in the fortress were so infamous for being so foul that there was a saying that if a bird flew over it, it would drop dead to the ground. Over the years in the prison, the excellent character and kindness of Abbas Effendi and his family won over the prison guards and warden, until finally, they were permitted to live outside the fortress in the city. From then on, Abbas Effendi began caring for the poor, and has never stopped. He and his family live very simply themselves, but what little they have, they always share with the needy. I heard a story about he had been invited to meet with a dignitary, and his wife purchased a nice robe for him. It is said that he took it back, purchased a simpler one, and gave the extra coins to a widow woman who knocked on his door. After all the years living in this city, the governor and the commander of the army corps respect and honor him as though he were their brother. It seems that no one's opinion or recommendation has greater weight with them. One might think that under such circumstances, a person would develop a great belief in his own importance. But this is not the case for Abbas Effendi. He discourages any attention toward himself and forbids the tendency of some people to praise him publicly or focus on his importance. He receives numerous requests for his photograph, but almost always declines. His reply to these requests is, I do not wish to have men think of my personality or form. The personality changes, the form passes away. There is nothing permanent about them. All this must die must pass out of the recollection of men. But 
deeds and words never die. These are my signs. It is these only which I wish to leave to the world. The name my parents gave me, Sharif, means noble. I suppose they wished to encourage me to live according to that virtue. And I tried. But the only one who never failed to treat me like I am truly a noble being was Abbas Effendi.